Misty and I have our drums. She got this, um, the bigger drum today. I got the smaller one, but it's really cool because they make different sounds, so we'll complement each other really well. Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. This is my new drum, and if you're excited to learn about it, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Ooh, when I talk next to it, I can hear it. You guys, I'm obsessed with my new African drum. This is an African drum, also known in the quartzite community, the nomad community, as a hippie drum. But oh my gosh, this is my new drum and I'm so excited. My friend Misty and I bought these drums uh, recently in quartzite. We bought them from a vendor who um, gets them from a ninth generation Nigerian drum maker. So the drums that Misty and I got were made from the same drum maker, which is really cool. Um, you can tell that it was handmade by all of the beautiful carvings and imperfections on my drum. Uh, it's made with cord and of course the skin on the top. So I have, I had a, a pair of drumsticks in my hands when I was five years old. I might have been younger, but my first memory of playing the drums was when I was five. My dad has played the drums his entire life. Uh, my brother and I can both play the drums thanks to my dad's um, teaching. So we're at, I actually come from a very musical family, so I'm already uh, musically inclined. And I was introduced to hippie drum circles last year at Schoolie Palooza. And ever since then, I wanted to participate. Um, like a lot of you um, have already commented on some of my previous posts, you know, music is really an international language, right? So it's just so powerful and it's such a cool way to bring people together from all walks of life. So we bought our drums and the same day we participated in our first hippie drum circle and it was so amazing. Thank you to Woodstock Firewood off of Keenan Central and Quartzsite for hosting that and uh, allowing Misty and I to participate. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I felt like my first circle was super successful. Misty and I had the time of our lives. Um, I felt like I did really well just integrating into the beat and the circle and the music and just feeding off of everybody else. Um, this is my new hobby, you guys. I am so stoked. Like I can't under um, undersell it. I'm just like so excited. So. Um, Misty got a much bigger drum, well not much bigger, but a bigger drum than I did, um, which is neat because like I said, um, we both have, you know, we have different sounds so we can like work together to come up with our own music and stuff like that. So um, I did spend $120 on this. That was the cost of it. Um, so worth it. <laughs> I'm so excited. So um, in the meantime, I've been learning about drum care. Um, for these types of African drums, like to store it on its side, um, not use mallets. You're not supposed to warm up the skin at the fire unless you have leather bindings, which I don't. So, um, so yeah, so I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video um, and the content coming and maybe I'll see you at the next Hippie Jump Circle. Let's get into it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.